Okay, what's up, people? Back again. Uh, this is a advanced tutorial of orbiting and getting the most efficiency out of your rockets. So that that's basically getting the most amount of fuel without wasting it. Yada yada yada. S okay, so um, this is the Kerbal X uh, vehicle that is just all stock parts and you can get it in the vehicle assembly building it's just uh, in the vanilla game so uh, that's what I'm using the upper left video is basically what you don't want to do and the full screen is uh, the best efficiency that I found when launching rockets up in the orbit and all that good stuff so basically we're coming up here to about 10,000 and when you get up to 10,000 meters that's when you want to start doing this gravity turn of about 45 degrees or so and it's it's pretty good around there and it'll be really efficient in the end so um, the upper the upper left is just basically what a lot of people do when they're starting out. It, it's the easiest way, in my opinion, to just launch something up in the orbit because you don't have to move your rock, uh, rocket around and, uh, you know, human error. So, um, basically, they just sh shoot a rocket straight up, and then once they get high enough out of the atmosphere, they'll turn 90 degrees and then just go. You can do that, that's easy, but it's not efficient. It's actually really, really inefficient. So, um, on the full screen, uh, basically, you just turn your rocket 45 degrees, roughly, and get up to about um, however high you want to go. Uh, for this video, I made both go up to 200,000 meters. So. Once you do that, uh, you know, keep keep it going, keep it going. Um, as you get higher and higher, you don't. Um, what I did was what I do is actually, you know, when as I keep going higher and higher, getting farther out of that atmosphere, uh, there's less drag, so I keep turning the rocket slowly towards, like eventually getting all the way up to uh, 90 degrees exactly um, but you know you need to watch your uh, Apple apps and make sure you get it to you know however high you want it to go um, once you do that uh, you basically want to uh, warp time to your Apple apps and then you know uh, just complete the orbit and then do your last burn uh, getting all the way around so uh, coming up to the Apple Waps, um, gonna do that that burn. Uh, so far, I mean, you can you can actually you can see it. it it's, it'll be a little bit harder. I'm gonna zoom in later. Uh, this is a post commentary, by the way. Um, but you can already see I we've we've already saved a lot of fuel already, but. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, afterwards the the differences. So it's um it's it's significant actually. It's really significant. So I mean, once you get better and better, and you can control your rockets more. I mean, it it, it really is up to you know how you build your rocket. If it's super stable, then you know doing this isn't going to be a problem at all. So it's going to be a very efficient rocket for you. Um, so just rounding out the orbit um, for the upper left. And here we are doing it in the full screen. And here we go. Check it out, guys. Uh, so in the upper left, I ended up with 
283 liquid fuel. And as you can see on the full screen, uh, it was actually 540. So, you know, that, that just says it right there. Um, it's super, super, super efficient to, you know, go at that 40, 45 degree angle around 10,000. You're going to save so much fuel in the end. So, um, that's going to be the first part of this video. Uh, the second part is going to be about um, s something that's not quite as dr drastic, but it's um, it's definitely it does save you fuel in the end, and that's the the Oberth effect. So, again, upper left, what you don't really want to do. Uh, full screen is a uh, more efficient way. So. With this, uh, we're going to go to Minness, and with that, uh, basically, uh, you know, I'm going to do the, the efficient way, which is going 45 degrees, but the difference is I'm going to be at about 70,000 meters for uh, the full screen, and then the upper left, I'm going to be at 200,000. So basically what the Oberth effect does is when you have an object closer to a large mass such as the earth or you know, Kerbin uh, it has more energy so when you when you make a burn if you if you're going if you're in orbit and you make a burn at a lower altitude closer to this giant mass uh, there's going to be a lot more energy in that burn, but if you if you're you know way out, um, you know for this video I'm going to be um, you know seventy thousand, and then for the other part uh, two hundred thousand just to show the the effects. So you know at two hundred thousand, it's going to be a lot less. Uh, um, well, well, it's not going to be a whole lot, but you know, it's going to be less efficient because of this. Uh, you know, gravity is the farther you get out, uh, the the less effect it has on you. Um, uh, so basically, you know, for for Earth, I think if you're at, um, I feel like uh, for for the ISS, they're they're like 260 miles up. I could be, you know, talking out of my ass, but um, you know, they are definitely feeling the effects of gravity from from Earth, but uh, they're in what they call zero g. So uh, they're actually experiencing about 90 percent of gravity of what most people experience on the ground. So. Um, so yeah, the, the Oberth effect is just, um, <clears throat> you know, when you make that burn, it's gonna, it's gonna go, you know, way out farther, a lot more efficient, efficiently. So, um, so basically that's what I'm doing here. Uh, y you can, you know, check it out and, uh, you know, see the uh, different effects. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. You know, for this, it's not drastic, but if you were doing like a um, interplanetary mission, uh, you would definitely want to get, you know, super close to, um, well, as close as you can to the planet so you can get get that max amount of energy. Um, you know, I think uh, I was watching a video by Scott Manley. I'm sure most of you have probably seen some of his videos. Uh, if you haven't, go check him out. Great YouTuber. Um, but he, I think um, on one of his videos, he was he was actually showing that uh, you know, you could go to Eve and then um, actually save more fuel in the end uh, by going out to like Jewel or Elo or something like that, um, 
instead of just actually going from Kerbin straight to Jewel or Elo. I that might actually be wrong too, but I I can't remember. But yeah, that's that's the effects of the Oberth, um, the Oberth effect. That's the <laughs> that's the effects of the Oberth effect. But anyways, um, but yeah, that's um, it can be very useful, um, if you're going super big distances. This is just uh, you know not that much difference because I mean it it's like um, 130,000 meters difference so yeah okay so uh, here coming up right here is um okay so this is um, maybe you already know this but I'll just explain it anyways uh, when when you have to do uh, these certain maneuvers to with with uh, you know something like a, a plane that's off axis to where you're coming from, you have to use the ascending and descending nodes. So uh, what I'm doing right here is uh, playing around with the the maneuver node. And if you get a maneuver node right on top of the that thing right there, and um, you know, play around with it until you get the the switch kind of like how you do when you when you're doing orbits. Um, if you get it kind of like in between right there, it will um, it will align you on the same plane as uh, whatever you have targeted. So yeah. Um, you know, once you do that, uh, you are in the position to, you know, go out to your target, uh, in this case, Minmus, um, and, you know, you want to get that node, uh, you know, as close to zero as possible. Sometimes you can get it to the NA N thing, which is, like super super close um, that's good too but yeah um, so uh, coming out here um, getting pretty close and some more there we go have an encounter and there we go so basically I'm on a collision course at this point gonna have to do a uh, another burn to just kind of get into that minimus orbit um, but yeah it's uh, doesn't take too long to get out here um, I've done this quite a few times so uh, for me it's pretty easy but you know I know it's probably hard for some of you people um, it just takes a lot of practice keep keep doing it keep figuring stuff out and uh, here we go uh, we are now in the uh, sphere of influence so basically what I'm doing now is just doing minor correction to uh, not crash into it and uh, here we go, bringing it out. And um, so I'm going to, um, you know, get do that burn uh, at the periaps. And what I'm going to do there is just get into that capture orbit. And then we'll uh, show you, show you guys the end results of, you know, how much fuel I saved. Um, well, I already know how much I saved, but uh, don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so uh, coming in. Just a little bit more. Point four. 
And, okay, that should be good enough. All right. Also, the upper left is, uh, is finishing up. Okay, so... Circularizing. And that should do it. I'm going to zoom in here for a second. Uh, let you see a little easier. Okay. Here we go. So, the verdict is on the less efficient side 151 fuel the using the Oberth effect which was burning at the low altitude uh, ended up with 197 so I mean that's you know in in the case of uh, Minus that's you know that that amount of fuel could be life or death for the uh, for the Kerbals so Anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Scott Manley.